So with the floor ready, it's time to figure out where all these parts stand. I've organized them into a few different piles. For instance, these two wall pieces are completely done. These four wall pieces need the slightest of touch-ups, whereas obviously this big piece needs that entire section painted. I wanted to wait and show the masking for that. This piece and this piece need to be painted entirely. These two wall sections are done. Fire extinguisher is right there for the wall. These freezer tubes are done. Those chairs are done. These two wall pieces have, uh, well, this one here needs the insert put into that. And then on this one here, three little tiny holes need to be filled with some kind of clear plastic or micro crystal clear or something. These two wall pieces need inserts for the back. I'm not putting the door on the right piece, so that needs a full back wall. And this one here is getting a door, but it also needs something to be seen through that door. I've got a few videos of the astrogator itself on putting that together. There's one more touch up I need to do on that. It's done. These two doors I am not using at all. The door on the left is for the uh, exit. I'm going to have mine completely open to the outside. And the door on the right goes over and that one there which is going to be open. Moving over here, these five doors. One color is painted. I really should have painted the opposite color because this is going to be a much trickier masking job. I may still have to do that that way. And that just leaves the command console here which still needs a few parts glued to it. So we're going to do that right now. And of course these three freezer wall parts are done. None of it is glued together. Well the little brass knobs are. But the uh, back walls, the grating, none of that is glued together. The egg timers none of it 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 so uh let's get to uh this guy here uh, i do love that floor over there it's good to see it like that all right so getting back to the command console here there's not a lot more to do on this let's see what parts we've got photo etch of course why do i have a clear plastic panel ah uh, because it was a bag and a bag and a bag and here we go these command uh little computers here are going to need to be painted whatever color they are before those go on and it looks like we've got all of those parts, which just leaves these to put into place. And to cut this off the fret, I will need that glass board and my X-Acto and my magnifying glasses. Okay, so it's good I just checked the directions. These two pieces are going to go a flat sand for their back colors. This one stays a basic silver with brass detailings right around the edges there. And some flat black. And, uh, yeah, so let's cut these out of here and paint them. And yes, this is a very dull blade. The center circle here isn't really a required part, I don't think. If you mount a motor in here to get the radar moray effect going on, then you would mount this in place to help get that effect. Otherwise, I think just the straight up decal deals with that. And finally, after a very long time, this fret is finished with. I do have some other 1706 to paint, so I will do that at the same time. And uh, let's drop them in place to see how they look and fit. Now there is one particular trick to these, and that is that normally you'd put these pieces in, the kit supplied ones. However, the surface is very bumped up. So Paulbo suggests flipping it over so it's flat, dropping that in there, and then putting this piece on top. I do have that thinner sheet of plastic and I'm probably going to use that instead. So this fit is a little tight, but it's there. The other reason why I don't want to use really thick plastic at all is because I'm going to be threading this with fiber optics. As it is, the holes are all set to go. If I put that plastic back there, then I'm going to have to cut through that to get through. And speaking of cutting, this piece needs a little bit of tabs sliced off a slightly better. And now let's see how well this fits. Oh, it's not as shallow either. Yeah, so these two should be recessed slightly and this one should be right on top. And it is. Looks like I need part 83 that will go there. I hadn't realized that before just now. Cool, I'm really glad to be at this point. 
but it looks like we got some painting out of us so let me prep the paint booth and the air compressor and we'll get moving on that and here we are back with the 1704 and 1706 combo I'm going to do 1704 first because uh, <clears throat> Rather, I'm going to do color B first, which is the 1704-1706 combo, because I need to get this done, and then I'll hit up all of this. And while this is drying, I will uh, mask this off. Part like this just has the slightest bit of paint touch-up needed. It doesn't need airbrushing. Same with this one. Well, maybe up there I could use a little airbrushing, but I don't want to go overboard. This one needs 1704 as well, so we'll throw this in there. I'll turn the compressor on. Here's the last of my B. We'll put the 1706 aside. And all the 1706 should be thinned already. I don't know how much of a good angle I can get over here on the paint booth. Not much of an angle at all, huh? Alright, well, let me get these painted here real quick and we'll go from there.